Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have something so cool to show you today. I was the exciting winner, it's not the word I was looking for, of a Erica's Journey 30K. So I've had it open. It was at my house last night when I get home. I've had it open just enough to like look at it, but I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys. Um, I got the white one because I love black and everything I own, I, I would like to be black, but I make dust for a living, so I got white. I was pretty proud of myself. She said, what color? And I was like, white, I want white. This is what the box looks like. It's pretty, it's a cute box, it's solid packaging, you know, packaging isn't always everything, but it is, I mean, it's really, it is. I'm going to read you the control box and handpiece specs off the box. So your control box has a 30,000 RPM versus, see if I can get this up here, your Erica's MT20, which a lot of us do seem to have, so in comparison to the MT20, now I am not professionally qualified to compare them as far as their specs go, but just as far as me looking at them and me using them go, I'll just let you know what the differences are. So this is an MT20. There is absolutely nothing wrong with mine. I meant to look back and see how long I've had it. Not terribly long. I love the handpiece. I, I just love it. I love that it is heavy and solid. Um, I love that it doesn't move around. I actually keep it in my drawer. No real reason. I guess that's just how it worked out when I first started using it. It fits perfectly in the top Alex drawer, the Ikea Alex drawer of my desk. And I thought that would be a really safe place for it to sit. Because I have, you know, knocked mine before when I've had other e-files and never luckily dropped them, but it's a risk, right? You don't want to drop something that you spent that much money on. So I have the control box. Ooh, sorry, I have the control box. It is 30,000 RPM. It is cordless. This one is corded. It's pocket size. And that's for real, guys never seen anything so small. And it has a digital display. I've never had digital display before. High torque, chemical resistant, so I assume we're meaning, you know, the outside of the unit. Uh, up to nine hours of battery life. Like my phone won't even do that. Fully charged in less than two hours. So, you know, plugging it in overnight, plugging it in, it, plugging it in first thing in the morning, maybe when you get to where you are. That is really great for mobile, traveling, pedicures, if you're using it for pedicures. You can get a um, strap for it, like a, a purse situation for it. I didn't because that's not something I'm going to need, but you can get that. Your handpiece, it's lightweight, 4.5 ounces. I meant to break my little scale and see, my food scale and see how much this one weighs. It's not terribly heavy, but I'll compare them in a second. Quiet and vibration free. I had it on for a second last night, uh, just with the traveling truck in it, no bit. And quiet, vibration free, yes it was. Smooth operation, ergonomic design, twist chuck lock, I think most of them do. Fits standard, fits. Let's get into this. I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can see what's happening. Okay, so let's get into this. The box has a cool sleeve, which I think is interesting because it just makes everything really compact, right? It just keeps everything right where you want it. And it keeps the box closed really well. So I've got the sleeve off. Got a really cool like Journey 30K. This is so exciting. So it does have the user manual. And I know normally most of us just, you know, you know. Um, but I do want to go through a few things with it just to make sure that I am explaining things properly and that I'm using it properly because you know, these are expensive little units and you do want to make sure that you are treating it right and uh, cleaning it properly and all of those things. So we'll go through that in a second, but first of all, we'll just to get the unit. So the unit came fully sleeved in this. 
but look at it. I mean, I don't have great big hands. It is teeny tiny. So it's in this little, it's in this little plastic case that I'm not gonna take it out, but it seems to fit in there very snug. Has a little kind of belt loop on it here. So that's interesting that, uh, that would be great for travel as well, pedicures, that sort of thing. But one thing I did notice also that it had was there are little feet on the bottom here and they're a little um, grippy, like they're not sticky, but they're a little grippy. So this isn't just sliding, like you can hear it squeak. It's not just gonna slide across your table. So if you are, you know, sitting it on your table and using it from here, it's not sliding around at every every little bit of pressure that you put on it. So I think that's really neat. Weight-wise, not at all heavy. That is the business end of things. The next little piece that I can take out from here is, this is a, like a spot to put the drill. I'm probably not going to, oh, I'm probably not going to use that but I am just going to put it right back in the case for right now. That's just something that I don't think will be practical for me, but that is an accessory that you do receive. And a new one of these, um, I showed you my other one that I use to hold my MT20 handpiece in the drawer. It's black, this one is more of a white gray, which is lovely because again, we make dust. Here we have the cord. So it does have, like I said, a nine hour battery life. However, it does need charge. So you have your cord. So this plugs in here. Everything seems, you know, nice and hefty. And then this is going to plug into the e-file. And there is a place here to plug it into charge. There is also a place here that you can pop out this little guy. From what I'm ex uh, understanding from the sticker right here, you can use a foot pedal. I used a foot pedal uh, years ago, and you know what, I really did love it. Like a foot pedal is really cool. So if it's something that anybody's ever said, oh no, you don't want that, you know, try it. If you think you might like it, try it. Foot pedals are, I really enjoyed having a foot pedal. Actually, I could probably say that I quite missed it when I first stopped using a foot pedal. Now, for the moment, the moment of truth. Okay, the handpiece. So let's compare the handpiece of the 30K to the 20K. So your handpiece is a little shorter on the 30K than the 20. The 20 is going to be a little narrower up here. They're about the same back here. I, uh, I'm assuming this is the business end of things. But up here, uh, it's going it's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, weight wise, ooh, they're they're pretty close. I'm gonna say they're pretty close. Yeah. Cord wise, really hard to tell. I'm sure this one's stretched out. You know, I've had it for a while. I pull on it every day. And I'm sure that this one will stretch out as time goes on. Mm, yeah, I feel like they're generally the same. I'm not sure why they changed this handpiece. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone watching knows if they might wanna pop it down in the comments if they know why they changed the handpiece. I don't remember hearing that there was any problems with it. It might've just been a design change. I am going to open up, actually, I think it opens up backwards. Isn't it funny how you do something so automatically all the time? Yeah, it opens up backwards. Oh, that's gonna mess me up. <laughs> It's fine though. Uh, let's put a decent drill bit in there. Okay, so this is the one, this is an Erica's bit that I'm using on the daily, so I know that it doesn't have any wobble in it or anything like that. I'm gonna put that one in. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Close it. Um, it opens and closes a little stiff, but I think they all do in the beginning. I really don't think that's anything that needs more of a comment than that, I guess. I'm gonna plug in the motor. Yeah, let's take a look at this whole thing. Is that not, that is just like I've never seen anything that small, to be honest. So let's just take a look at the buttons. Control box parts. So we have your power slash speed dial, which is here. 
on the end, your dial. You have the motor port battery life display. So that's here. There's a couple of lights here. RPM display screen, charger port, we discussed that. Rotation direction switch, so your forward and backward is a button, so that's super easy for people that go forward and back when they're working. I don't tend to. When I learned how to use an e-file, they went one direction. So uh, it was just not something that I ever, I managed around that. And for lefties too, you know, it does go the opposite way. Power button number seven, of course, and your foot controller port, which I don't have a foot control. I've I've actually probably got one at home that I could uh, get and show you if that's something you want to see. It gives you a few problem and remedy. Control box does not turn on. Speed cannot be controlled. You know, different things if they happen, you can look them up there. Number one, turn the power on by turning the power speed dial clockwise. It does beep when you first turn it on. So right now it's on. It's not running. It's on. Set the speed by the power or speed dial, turning clockwise to increase, turning counterclockwise to decrease. And the actual RPMs is the number of on the display. Am I not doing this right? Okay, on, on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Do you hear that? That is at 30K. 30K. And like, wow. So let's, let's turn on my 20K at 20K. It's definitely a different noise. I'm sure it's gonna come through on camera differently too. It's a bit louder. My 20K is also a bit older. And I, to me, a bit louder is not a deal breaker, but it is a bit louder in comparison. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use it for a couple of clients and I will keep you posted on how I like it, what I don't like about it, and what's happening. Hey guys, welcome back. I said I would update you on how I made out with my journey 30K this week. And I unplugged my 20K and pushed it to the back. So I guess this one's staying. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna keep my 20K as a backup because, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really a stickler for a backup. And right now I don't actually have a backup e-file. And I don't have a backup UV light, which normally I do. So anyway, adding to the backup with that one. But this is, this is a cool machine. They've uh, done themselves with this one. It's... So far stayed like clean and dust free, I think because maybe the color I've chosen, I'm not sure. I never did bring my foot pedal from home. Sorry, you're moving. I never did bring my foot pedal from home. I may, I may yet. I don't know how I feel about having a bunch of clutter under my desk, but this one, I've not yet recharged it. The battery is still 100%. I have been using my Erica's drill bits with it and they're working beautifully. I'm not noticing any heat anywhere in the handpiece. I'm not noticing like a lot of heat from the unit because that's sometimes concerning, right? You don't want stuff heating up a lot. I really do think that this is um, an amazing purchase, especially right now, because if you look at Kathy's website, I am gonna link AR Nail Supply down below. Um, this is not sponsored. I just, I wanna give you guys the information. There is 20% off of these right now. So 20% off is a significant amount. If you're looking to add to your equipment, especially, but she only has black, Left. So that to me means they're selling kind of quickly. So if you want to go take a look, if you're a professional, make an account with Kathy. For non-professionals, you can still also make an account on her non-professional part of her website. You're, I don't believe, going to have access to something like this, but you're probably also not investing the larger amount on something like this either. But if you are a professional, go make yourself an account talk to Kathy, email her on her um, Instagram, ask her any questions you have about this. She's a really responsive, great to talk to. She's definitely going to answer you. And if sometimes when you email businesses, they don't always get back to you or get back to you in a timely manner, and I can guarantee you she will. Go check it out, 20% off right now. I am just, it's Sunday. 
I am drinking my coffee. 8.33, I'm on Amazon as per usual. But I'm drinking my coffee and getting everything set up. I have an acrylic workshop this morning. That is a lot of fun, so I'm just kind of getting cleaned up from yesterday and getting my like brain into the different gear for a workshop. I love doing these. They are so much fun. We are doing one-on-one, -on -one, which I love that we're back to one-on-one. -on -one. It's I love doing it online. It's easier than I thought it would be. It's a lot of fun. There's just something about being in one-on-one, -on -one, and this girl is local to me, so that is so exciting. I cannot wait. I have to get out my liquid chrome practice hand. I have to get out, you know, some tips. So I'm going to uh, leave you here with this. It's going to be basically just all kind of about the e-file. And if you have any questions, pop them down below. If I can possibly answer you to the best of my ability, I certainly will. Otherwise, you can direct your questions to AR Nail Supply about the drill on Instagram. And have a great week. I'm sure you'll be seeing this on Monday. I hope you'll be seeing it on Monday. I know.